Suppose I uh, put up on the internet or otherwise. None of this actually has to happen on the internet. Wikipedia itself doesn't need the internet. It just it would be really slow otherwise. And very few people would bother, you know, like actually, you know, writing something down and then taking it someplace. <laughs> you know, that would, that would, that would, who would bother, right? Anyway, in whatever form, imagine writing down what I want or need or think I need or whatever. Like Wikipedia, the things I submit here um, might be flawed or wrong in some way, but we're just we're just going to work with it. Writing out what I want, what I need, or even more generally, what ought to be done. It doesn't have to be for me. It could be for other people, right? Just most people happen to know what their own wants are. Imagine putting that out there. And just like I think, just anything from, from the very simple mundane, like, I need a ride to the airport next Tuesday. Uh, to the absolute abstract, like, I want to be a better person, just something in the middle, like, I want to learn Japanese, you know, uh, just, just list, just list, like, freaking everything. And then imagine, just, just randomly, then, you know, someone interested in this concept, uh, desiring to be generous, uh, comes by and says, oh, you know, you want to learn Japanese? Cool. I have, a, you know, a link. Maybe a very simple thing. Here's some links. You can probably get that off of Google anyway. But perhaps maybe I have a textbook. You know? Yeah, sure. I have a an old Japanese. Which in fact I do actually have an old Japanese textbook that I don't use anymore because I've moved up a little bit in knowledge. So if there was someone randomly who could be like, "Hey, could I have that?" I'd be like, "Okay." At the moment, I have this textbook, this old one. Uh, I don't need it. Is it getting into the hands of anyone who does need it? No. Do I know exactly how to put it in those hands? No. <laughs> I don't. Does anyone? I mean, you know, this is, this is what we're talking about extensions of uh, basic things that already exist in, you know, regular real world or whatever. You know, I might happen to bring something up in conversation. Uh, and in fact, you might almost, almost take the view that, to some degree anyway, conversation, uh, particularly of the idle kind, is almost like, um, like a random scanning of information or almost like Google results, you know, sort of thing. But maybe that is, you ever talk to someone, you just bring up random stuff, you know. Uh, make a comment about this, make a comment about that, make a comment, and, and at some point randomly something interesting comes up. Oh, really? Oh, you ride to the airport next Tuesday? Sure, I've got a car, I've got, you know. This is almost be like that, kind of, on a, on a global scale. Is there anybody, anywhere, you know, they have like some system to figure out, you know, how much it would cost to say ship something to somewhere and whether I would be willing to pay for this or they would or, or something, I don't know. You know, you imagine if you can get to real cooperation things with, gee, I have this textbook and I need to get it to this other dude in a different state, you know, I don't want to pay for shipping, but wait, the system tells me that there's this other person who's going to be going in that direction anyway in a car for some reason, and I could pass the textbook to him and he would pass it to the other guy down the line. Now what if you know, middleman doesn't follow through. Well, I'm not particularly harmed. I didn't really need the textbook anyway. Guy on the other end isn't particularly harmed because he wasn't particularly relying on me. You know, something to do with, with Whirlum is uh, having a, a, a only benefit sort of option from it. You know, like there's, there's no coercion, right? And there's nothing you need to give into the system. And there's no real, like, promises, for that matter. You know, there, there's no, like, um, having to rely on someone uh, via this thing. Because, you know, you can hardly trust that, particularly when you're first starting off this system. You don't know exactly who can be trusted and yada yada. Um, imagine having it as, as well, sort of a backup thing. In a, in a way, the, the way you, you don't necessarily rely on Wikipedia. You know, there are may, very many other sources of information. Good that they're there. Um... But if Wikipedia happens to have an informative article on a given topic, oh, good, good, it's there. And that's, you know, much faster, uh, perhaps at least, than your other alternatives. So imagine you go about your daily life with, okay, uh, I learned Japanese, I need a textbook. And, you know, you figure on just buying it, but you put up a thing on Whirlum. Does anyone have an old Japanese textbook, yada, yada? And uh, someone's like, oh, yes, I have one of those. Would you like it? Sure. Okay, click, and then and then brings it over or uses some middleman or whatever, you know. 
and then you end up getting it. And like, wow, I've benefited from this without having to pay anything into the system. Now, if you, you don't have to pay anything into the system, you might be asking, well, how does the system, as we're ever, get back anything? By the simple notion of, of reciprocation, generosity, and so forth, paying forward. And the way Wikipedia works, you know, you get information, the article which has been written. I go to Wikipedia, I find the article, I look at it, I receive all that information. Is there any guarantee that I'm going to contribute back to Wikipedia? None. Zero guarantee on that part. There is no contract. There is no nothing. There's not even like a, a serious, you know, what social stigma if you don't contribute. No, just fine. Just take the information, you know. We would we would encourage you to contribute. You don't have to. 